Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Insignia NS-HD01 FM HD Pocket Radio. I bought this radio at Best Buy back around 2009-2010 for around $50. Insignia made three of these HD Pocket Radios over time, the HD-01, the HD-02, and the HD-01A. And right now we're going to focus on the HD-01, and I'll give you the dimensions. 2 and an eighth inch in length, 3 and an eighth inch in height, and a depth of 5 eighths of an inch. And... Let's do some size comparisons. Uh, first, the Jensen SAB55A. The Jensen is a bit thicker than the Insignia. And I have another radio, the Sony SRF M37V. And the Sony is definitely thicker. Now, I still have the radio. Uh, I no longer have the headband, the earphones, and uh, prob I probably have a USB uh, cable around here somewhere. But uh, I don't use it for this radio. I just find any old one and charge it. Because this radio does have a lithium-ion battery that you can use to charge using the a mini USB cable. Now, as far as the radio is concerned, here are all the buttons. Uh, in the front, you have the tuning up and down switch, which is also used to go through the uh, menu options. And speaking of menu, here's the menu button, the M button here, which is also used as your exit button while you're going to menu options. And then we have the uh, LCD screen here. It's cracked because I dropped it. The Insignia logo and then your Seek down and up buttons. And then the Enter is used for two purposes. One, to confirm menu commands or menu options. But it is also used when you're on an HD channel when you want to switch over between normal display and guide display i'll show you uh, those later and then you have your hd radio logo here which is worn out because i've used this a lot over the years power button up here and then your preset up and down buttons here on this side is your mini usb jack there used to be a protective cover over this but I know I have I no longer have that either that fell off. And then the hold switch here, it'll lock the keys on your radio when you put the hold switch up. And then there's the reset button here. It's inside the radio. You need to use a uh, a pin or toothpick, put it in this hole to reset the radio whenever it malfunctions. Nothing on the bottom. On the top is your headphone jack, which is uh, stereo, and it's also used uh, as an antenna whenever you connect headphones or auxiliary cables. Those are used as the antenna. And then you have your mute and volume wheels here, a mute button here, it acts as both a button and a wheel. You press it down to mute the volume, or you go up and down the volume like this. In the back, it's also been worn out. Uh, this was the label it had. It mainly had the label, the name of the radio, and uh, what kind of power it takes, 
and the battery, the power is 5 volts, and the battery is 3.7 volts. And the serial number is still down here. And I don't know what these uh, two things are down here. Probably just for show. Now, what I would like to do next is turn on the radio and show you the menu options. There it is. It takes a little while to uh, turn on the radio, but here's uh, the screen. Now, the LCD screen has FM, the battery indicator, the frequency, and the volume on or off or mute. If I press mute, it'll look at mute. The volume that is on, it goes up 1 to 15, so 15 size. Then there's all seek, but if you choose HD seek, it'll show HD seek. Now that's when it's not on an HD channel. When it is on an HD channel, which I will mute, this is what the display looks like. You'll have an HD one icon here, and if there's a plus, that means there's additional HD channels right here. And it'll show your station information. And an HD icon, whatever is in HD. And then I press this button here, enter. It'll take you to guide mode. Which means I can go up and down the individual HD channels. So uh, that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to go through the menu options. The LCD control, I scroll down, press enter, there's your contrast, and you can go use the up and down buttons. Now, I have to use it on the lowest setting because uh, the, the uh, display will come out bad if I don't put it on low. So, I'll go back using the M button, and then LCD time off display right here and there it is I press enter you can have it always on or you can set it to 10 20 30 45 and 60 seconds so you don't have to have it on all the time it saves on battery when you do that and then Here's your Seek Select, either All or HD. Version, you might be able to read that. Let me see if I can, no, if I put it close up, you're not going to be able to read it. So you can pause and read the version here. I'll go back. And then the Factory Default option here. You can either go yes or no. I will not change to factory default. I won't do that. And that is all. So what I'm going to do next is the band scan. And by the way, FM is 87.5 to 107.9 using 20 kilohertz steps. It's only that option, that option only. So what I'm going to do um, is unmute this. And by the way, I have the line in connected to the uh, Grundy G3. I'm using that as my speaker for my band scan. Now I noticed this doesn't do quite as well reception-wise with this connection. It does better on headphones for some reason. But I'm going to give this uh, band scan a try anyway. That is WNYZLP New York City. Uh, for some reason, um, it does not, the audio is not that great on that channel. 
It's a little off tune. It, the actual frequency is A7.75. That's why it sounds a little distorted. Now you can tune up and down using this button here or long press to go through every frequency. Or single press down and long press down. So that's how I tune. Or you can use the seek buttons to tune. I'm going to mute it for a second, uh, but that is WBGO, Newark, New Jersey. It'll show station information or artist and title information as well. You see, there's the artist and the title of the song right here. I'll just let it scroll for a second. And then, here's how it would go in display mode. Or guide mode, I should say. So, that's how uh, the information would look, what the information would look like. It would scroll on both channels. And then, HD2 is the Jazz B. And I'll uh, play a little of that. I'm going to mute it briefly so I don't get into any copyright issues. But that is WFDU Teaneck, New Jersey. again Francis said, you know, Chico, I sing. If I sing, you can sing. If I sing, you can sing. <laughs> you can sing. He said, I sing, Chico. I sing my own my WNYE, New York City. Yeah. Songwriter, but he was right. I yeah. love Francis singing. Yes, I'm just going to mute it briefly. WNYL, New York City. WPAT New York, uh, Patterson, New Jersey. I'm going to mute it again, WNYC, New York City. WNSH, Newark, New Jersey. That is a uh, Caleb WPLJ New York City. It also has three other sub channels. I'll take you to those right now. Justice. So even though he doesn't prefer wrath, because 
because he's just, he has to exercise it. WXNY FM, New York City. Somehow, 93.9, 96.3, the HD channels are unlocking very well. Using this connection, I have a better uh, luck getting it with the headphones for some reason. WARW, Port Chester, New York, that's AR1. Same thing, it's not locking in 96.7 very well. Which is K-Love Classics on HD2 and Radio Nueva Vida on HD3. Hey, hey. WQHT New York City on A7. WSKQ, New York City. WEPN FM, New York City. Now, if there isn't an HD signal available, it will still air RDS information or radio data system. So, uh, you could still see station information even not on HD channels. WAWZ Zarafath, New Jersey. WHTZ, Newark, New Jersey, Z100. There's the information right there. WHUD. WCBS FM, New York City. CBS. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, this year... Bring to the Gresh Show on CBS Sports Radio. Today, I want to let the audience know that... ...about Trump lefties talking about digging... WFAN, FM, New York City. The fan. And this has RDS information as well. Rookie of the Year, runner-up, now loses his job to Gio Urshel, who's a magician at third base on the ball that he gets to. That's what he has to do now. You know, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I think Steve Carell said that in his, uh... WMCA, that is an FM translator, actually, W272DX. WNEW, New York City. Deegan, it looks like it's northbound around 167th Street. That's south of the Cross Bronx Expressway. And you got some rubbernecking on the other side as well. Now here's what we see on Long Island's... ...through the lambs that they were slaying the time when... Dawn yeah, I mean, we were 
WKTU Lake Success, New York. I know, right? We knew our credit wasn't great, but between this and getting rejected for a credit card, enough was enough. I did my homework and found that creditrepair.com has a hotline. To yeah, this isn't locking in very well either with this connection. WNBM, Bronxville, New York. Sweatbands are so hot right now. Everyone's wearing them. WAXQ, New York City, Q1043. And uh, that is um, their station information. contractor or a vendor and I work with human resources mostly and with human resources we identify that space within the office that works usually a car WWPRFM New York City Yeah, some of these channels are unlocking in this spot very well. WQXR in Newark, New Jersey. Gotta mute it. WLTW, New York City, Light FM. There's the song information right there. And this one isn't locking very well either. And that's the song information. That's uh, iHeartRadio Broadway. That surgical weight loss can help treat diabetes, heart disease, WXPK Brycliffe Manor, New York. Over the last 15 years, I have advanced minimally invasive procedures. We know, we know we that. You're mere kind. And everyone was a winner tonight. It was mm -hmm. a pleasure being here. And, uh, we're trying to refund the whole spirit of festival. WBLS, New York City. More mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To the nation. So, can, some of you who can't bring out the nation. Twice because love coming right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the Krill Omega Plus and the B12, it is a part of the special radio offer today. You just pay the shipping and you try it for free. And that number for those listening out there, write this down it's 1 800 500 1842. Again, WEBE Westport, Connecticut. So it does get your semi local and distant stations. As long as they're analog, not so much with HD. So uh, this connection does better with analog radio broadcasts than HD. At least that's what I found with this radio. It definitely does a lot better when I use headphones. But that is all for the band scan. So another thing I wanted to do is just uh, put a preset in. So I press and hold this. And then I press this button again, go down and then press and hold again, and the preset is stored. And it holds up to 10 presets so you're allowed up to 10 presets on this radio. So I'm going to turn it off and give you my final thoughts. Um, I've used this radio a lot, not so much these days because I have other radios now that I use. But um, it's a pretty fun radio to use. Uh, you know, you can carry it around with you. you can, it's easy to pack. I've used these on vacations quite a bit for HD um, listening um, when I'm in other places, especially southern New Jersey where I used to vacation back in the day. 
And it was very fun to use then, and I still use it once in a while. So, um, overall, I like this radio. Um, I'll give you an FM reception report. When I put on headphones, I actually got about 54 stations, 51 licensed, 3 unlicensed. And most of those stations, 45 okay to good, and 9 were weak signals. But with this connection, it's not catching the HD channels very well. Headphones do a better job of it. But overall, I like this radio. So uh, that is it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe to my channel. So have a good week, everyone. Be safe. And God bless. Bye-bye.